So hi guys, welcome to the MMA UK News. Obviously myself, Stoomboy, for MMA UK BJJ show as always. So today we're talking again about Holy Town Havoc. Uh, Holy Town Havoc's going to be at the General Motors Social Club in Holy Town, 28th of August. Uh, the event is completely sold out, uh, sold out very, very quickly. It's a fantastic card, obviously headlined by uh, the bad guy, Chris Bungard, and Aritz Kamikaze Gatmindia. Uh, we've got Jordan Strong against Michael Stewart. Igor's going to be on it as well, Igor Voitas. And then obviously my next guest, Michael Blair, is going to be up against Mark Ewan. So uh, Michael, as we're going to hear, obviously uh, had a fantastic run in the amateurs. Uh, now obviously going into the pros and obviously looking to carry that momentum into the pros as well. And obviously hopefully we're going to see obviously bigger and better things coming from Michael. So Michael, absolute honour to have you on, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, good, mate. Thanks very much for having me. Nice one. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on. As I say, this, uh, this fight uh, is promising to be the fight of the night. This is the one that everybody's talking about. So I know it was supposed to happen previously. It didn't happen. But we're here now. Obviously, two of the hottest prospects in Scotland at the moment. Obviously, yourself and Mark. How did the, the fight come about for you? So how did you find out about it? Well, originally, I was supposed to fight a, a Spanish guy in this show. So that was the game. Uh, the like, that was a match up in the start. It was the same guy from uh, who Bungard's fighting from the same gym. And then maybe three, four weeks ago, the guy pulled out, and Bungie put a post up saying anyone seventy kilo looking for a, a debut role. And Mark Ewan answered, man. Mark Ewan took a fight. So fair play to him. Well, as you said, we were supposed to be fighting maybe three, four months ago. So it does make sense. Two is two of the best amateurs in Britain. So we might as well see who's best. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And I'd say you you had a fantastic run as an amateur. I believe it was six and oh as an amateur. Um and yeah, I mean you had no problems as an amateur. And I'd say obviously coming into your pro debut. So I mean, has anything really changed for you in regards to training? Because obviously I know you guys, you especially, you're training all the time. You're always hard training. So has anything really changed for you at all? Not really, not too much. Just more focus on the five minute rounds in Spam. But we've always been doing that for years, you know. We've been like me and Jordan both make our pro debuts, but we've been having to do rounds with Bungie for the past four or five years. So we're used to the five minutes. But it's just consistently doing that. And then after the past couple of months, just getting used to it. It's not that two and a half minute mark. You used to be looking at the clock, see the thirty seconds. Now you can get it up, you're like, All right, I've still got an hour two and a half to go. Right, stop looking at the clock. Yeah, and how important is you? Because obviously you mentioned obviously Bungie, and I mean you guys have got quite a lot of talent coming out of the hit squad. Um, obviously yourself, you mentioned Jordan Strong there. Obviously you've got Bungie, um, you've got Paul Craig as well. Obviously mm -hmm. uh, doing it in the UFC. So is it important for you to have that caliber of people around you? Um, not just for obviously training, but maybe any kind of advice and stuff like that that they're going to give you. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's a massive game changer being able to train with these kind of high level guys. We're lucky that we've got maybe five or six guys all at lightweight, all at a strong level. We've got me, Bungie, Jordan, uh, Ryan Campbell fighting on the show, Gary McMillan fighting on the show. We big Max. It was we for a while, and he's just he's short right off. He's about six foot three now and jabs ahead off every day. He's fighting. Uh, I, as you said, put advice off. These guys like Paul and Bungie, they've been around the box. They know what's happening. They know the best. Best thing to do diet conditioning, diet conditioning, how it can, how it deal with the nerves and stuff like that. So, training these kind of guys is magic. You know, it's invaluable. Yeah. And what about nerves? Because obviously, I know me coming from jujitsu, um, a jujitsu background. Obviously, and I, I see people getting nervous all the time. I don't really. I'm one of these guys where I'm just happy to be there. I'm enjoying myself. I go out there and I just have fun. Uh, so, what about you? I mean, what kind of nerves? Obviously, going into an MMA fight. Um, what kind of nerves do you get? To be honest, I'm actually all right, but the only thing I get worried about is if I'm like, going to be sharp enough the first couple of minutes, just in the warm-up process and stuff like that. It's more, you just want to get in there. That's the worst part of the nerves. It's the couple, three or four fights before, you're just waiting. That's the worst part. But as far as I'm concerned, the result's predetermined in your training. Do you know what I mean? If I've trained hard enough, then like there's no going much difference between what I do on the day of any silly superstitions and stuff like that. That's going to make a difference. It's the training, the six, seven, eight weeks beforehand that's going to, going to get you the win. So I'm not too bothered with the nails. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so I'd say pro debut. Um, I say it's promising. I mean, anybody I've spoke to, uh, whether it be in MMA media or anybody that knows anything about the uh, the scene in Scotland or even in the UK, this is the one that everybody's coming to see. Uh, this is the one that seems to have sold a lot of tickets. Um, so, I mean, is that does that put any added pressure on yourself um, at all, or again, is it just you go out and do your thing? No, as you said, I just go out and do my thing. It's no. The fight's going to be a good one, do you know what I mean? No matter what happens, it could be an empty arena, it could be a big The fight's going to be the same, as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be fast-paced, it's going to be tough. Expecting, expecting a war here, but I have no added pressure with the crowd or extra tickets and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'd say that definitely one I'm looking forward to seeing. As I said, uh, obviously I've seen you guys coming up, both of you guys coming up. As I say, both both had fantastic amateur records and both obviously tipped to go into bigger and better things. So as I said, it's uh, it's definitely a fight I'm looking forward to see. I'll be there as well on the night. So obviously speaking to different people and obviously getting getting chats with a lot of people as well. So definitely looking forward to seeing it. And you obviously mentioned as well, you're still coaching as well. So you're still, you were coaching a class earlier today, I believe. Yep. I've been doing a bit of the, the coaching, taking some of the beginners classes and stuff. And it has helped a lot. It's made me break down stuff a lot, a lot more. There's some stuff people people are testing out, even guys who are doing jets. You'll find out you'll find everyone has their best moves and stuff. And a lot of the time you don't really realise how you're doing it until you have to break it down to someone and explain the wee intricacies. And someone might not understand it the same way that you do and you have to try and explain it in a different way. And, you know, it just comes along with it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Definitely, no, that's good to hear, as I said, uh, you're young as well, I mean, what are you, 23, 24 year old, 23 I believe, so I mean, you've got a massive career ahead of you, um, so we've got a question coming in, well I think it's a question, it's uh, Aaron uh, just saying pro debuts are always so explosive, especially in Scottish MMA, well this fight's going to be no different Aaron, I mean this is going to be a, a good explosive fight, as I said, it's definitely one that... Um, if you're not there, you're going to miss it. Uh, but I believe they're doing a, a... I think he's doing a live stream as well. Um, I, I, so I don't know, I'll need to check. Yeah, so hopefully, obviously, anybody that never got tickets are going to be able to see it as well. So, so yeah, Aaron, definitely tune in. I mean, this is uh, this is going to be a good card. That's a really good card through the, the amateurs right up through the pros as well. So, uh, as I said, obviously, Michael and Mark uh, are going to put on a good fight. Jordan Strong as well. I mean, uh, Jordan Strong coming in. Jordan's coming in. Yeah, he's uh, he's a savage. Anybody that knows anything about Scottish MMA is going to know who Jordan Strong is, and we see Jordan in in corners um, for obviously like Paul and Bungie and stuff like that. So um, I know that Jordan was going to be fighting doing his pro debut a while back, but obviously it never came about. So this is uh, we're going to eventually get to see Jordan in the pro debut. So how do you think Jordan? What do you think he's going to do? Oh, he's terrifying, mate. He's terrifying when he's barring him, I mean fighting. Like you hold pads for him and it's a different pillar on his kicks and stuff. You can't hold him down. You don't understand like him, so it's and he can go for days, do you know what I mean? So anyone who's fighting him is they're in for a rough night. Do you know what I mean? And it's been years coming for Jordan Turner Pro. He could have done it years ago. It's just been terrible luck with fights. Guys pulling out and then COVID, not been able to get fights. So it's been a long time coming, man. Yeah, yeah. And what about you? I mean, obviously, I know that you had a fight. Uh, I think your last fight was what Celtic Gladiators. So, how, how about you now? Going to obviously eventually now we're all opened up. We're going to have spectators and things like that in there. I mean, how's that going to feel for yourself having everybody back? I'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. It was a bit stranger last one fighting. No, that fight obviously no crowd. It was a bit. It, was, it took some getting used to, do you know what I mean? So you're, you're kind of build up in your head, walking out in front of people, getting, hearing the noise, you know what I mean? Like hearing the cheers and the booze and all that stuff, no matter what it is. Well, it'll be good to get back to that. A bit of, bit of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be a big crowd, as I say, especially for you. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people backing you. So you're going to come out to a lot of cheers. I think Mark's going to come out to probably quite a few boos, I can expect, Maybe. obviously. Uh, uh, so, uh, so yeah, no, I'd say looking forward to it. And then what about you? Anybody you, you want to shout out to? I know you've got quite a, a few training partners and things like that. But, yeah, anybody you want to shout out to, sponsors, anything like that? I just saw the boys in the gym. Brian, Paul, Bungie, Jordan, all the boys. Uh, Taking all the time to help us out, 
I mean, every day, Brian to put an extra classes on for us and stuff just to go over some some positions and stuff. Got a few sponsors. I'll, I'll write a post on you. I forget the names and I might have gone blank. Uh, I do help me out for one of the fights before. I was supposed to fight in Bellator. A lot of people done is people done is a good job there. Uh, a good job there. Uh, we appreciate the post is coming. Don't you worry. Definitely. Well, so I'll keep an eye out for that and I'll get it posted out in the usual places for you. So definitely. Uh, but listen, no, listen, thank you very much, uh, Michael. It's an absolute <laughs> honour to speak to you. So looking forward to seeing you on the 28th. So that's Holy Town Havoc, the General Motors Social Club in Holy Town, 28th of August. As I said, fantastic card from, as I said, from the amateurs right up to the pros. Um, and yeah, Mark Ewan and Michael Blair promises to be one of the fights of the night. So uh, thank you again, Michael. And Just you enjoy the rest of your pleasure. day, buddy. All right. Too, Take it easy, mate. See you later. Bye.